Yo guys, I've got a different video today, I've got a little loadout video. This is my first time doing a video like this. Um, let me know how everyone's day is going. Uh, let, me down in the let me know down in the comments section. Uh, today, this is a class I've been using for probably the last month or so. I've been really, really enjoying it. It's the M4 and the Car 98. I'll get into this. With the M4, I'm rocking the Moni Suppressor and the Grenadier Barrel. I find this gives really, really good range. It's just superior to the rest, in my opinion. No, most of you probably know that if you don't. Singard, I'm, running, I'm running the um, Singard Arms. Obviously, the aim walking movement speed is quite important, especially in Warzone, close range combat. Stipple grip tape for that fast ADS, sprint to fire speed, very important. Because you're going to be using this gun in short to medium range because of this. This is the way it's set up. So the Commando foregrip. I use this over Merc foregrip. And the reason for that is this is great, but you don't need range and it makes your gun super clunky. You've got a Car 98 with Amped. You can switch out to it and get a quick headshot because the Car 98 is so agile. You can really pop heads really fast. So I use the Commando foregrip because it gives me much better agility with the weapon movement. <clears throat> things like that gives you a better chance when it comes to you know you run around a corner and somebody's there if you've got a Merc foregrip it takes 10 years to lift your gun right with the commander foregrip a better chance of winning the engagement haven't you so this is the M4 this is the loadout we'll move on to the Car 98 and this gun is basically the incisor variant of the weapon it's all the same pieces apart from I removed the tack laser for FMJ the reason I did that is because FMJ obviously is important. Wall bangs, somebody hide, runs and hides behind a door, you can still get them. It's, it's just much more important than attack laser in my opinion. You know, these are all the standard perks that come with this variant of the weapon. You could either pick this weapon up or if, you, if you've got enough, uh, you know, high enough level on the car 98, you could just replicate it. But that's basically all there is to say about that. This, this gun's brilliant. I mean. It's more agile than any sniper on the game. It, obviously, it's not as powerful as an AX, but it's not clunky. You can whip it out really fast with Amped. You can pop someone in the head faster than you can with an AX. It's just a great weapon, especially if you like running a gun in. A lot of people run like an M4 with a big sniper secondary, and that's like for sitting on top of buildings. This is more of a movement class. So with the perks, it's pretty standard, but if you don't know, Run an EOD because otherwise you just die to every explosion possible in Warzone. Overkill for both weapons, two primaries. And Amped, I fight this is the most important perk for me because I love being able to switch out my weapons fast. If I've got my car 98 and somebody runs around the corner, I need to switch out to my M4 really fast. You know, if my M4 can't quite hit the, the range I need, I need to switch out to the car 98 really fast. You know, to get that headshot before he runs around the corner. It's important. So the C4. It's pretty standard, you know. It's good for taking out cars and just finishing people off when they crawl into buildings after you killed them or well, downed them. Heartbeat sensor. This is important because I'll get into this in a minute. Most of you probably know, if you don't, <coughs> heartbeat sensor can... When you pull out your heartbeat sensor, you can see people that don't have ghost in an area around you. Most people don't run ghost because most people run two primary weapons. Now, the only time you get ghost... Well, at the time I get ghosts, and I imagine a lot of other people do. So I've set up a separate perk class. So the first loadout, you get your standard, your normal loadout that you're using. And if you get a chance of a second loadout, you buy one, right, whatever, however you get it. Then you get your perks. And what I've done is obviously set my perks the same, but with ghost. Because I don't need overkill anymore, because I've got these two weapons that will drop next to the loadout crate when I pick up my new, my new crate. Obviously, I've got C4 and Heartbeat Sensor, the same as that, so it just means I've only got to pick up two items and not stand there looking weirdo picking up all these items up on the floor. But this is quite important to do. You know, it's obviously it's quite important to have ghosts because otherwise people will see you on a Heartbeat Sensor and UAVs and you'll be at a disadvantage, really. But, yeah, I've been really enjoying this class. You know, I've set up a montage at the end of this video so you can see, you know, you can see that the M4 still bangs. Got some nice, nice shots with these guns. Um, basically, let me know what you think. I mean, if you if you replicate this class and give it a go, let me know what you think in the comments. 
you know, even let me you know if you make any changes let me know what you've done but yeah let me know in the comments I'm gonna jump to the little montage in a minute let you enjoy that um, if you do like this loadout please drop me a like on the video it help me out a lot if you enjoy my content sub to the channel and if this video does well I'll probably look into making more videos like this you know I don't mind doing it it's good fun and yeah I hope you enjoyed the mon montage guys and I hope this little loadout works out for you and I will speak to you soon enjoy the video bye Don't try to stop this Work until I'm nauseous Cause I will not quit No, because I want this Don't try to stop me Never an option So I be cautious I hope that you're watching Don't try to stop this Work until I'm nauseous Cause I will not quit No, because I want this Don't try to stop me Now Screen. Did you learn anything? Really worth anything? 200 grand later and we're not even working. Student loans worth more than what we're earning. Best lesson I've learned is to keep on searching. Find your true passion and get to work. And better take action or you end up serving. Yeah, that's a fact. So you better clean up your act. So you better grow yourself a sack. And tell the world they can suck on that. Don't come back. Pack your bags. You take a trip and don't relax. You hit the switch and just attack. You find your niche and make some racks. Don't hold back. Everybody wake up. It's time to break up with the life you made up. It's time to trade up, live the life you want now A life you don't doubt, I could give a fuck how Just get your grit out Wake up, wake up, man this life is a blur Everyone's got an opinion, so which one you prefer? Cause I'll give you one that's coming from an entrepreneur Don't give up on your dream, if it's what you deserve yeah. Yeah.